Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to show you two strategies for getting your hair up in a ponytail if you are uh, doing so one-handed. So this is really geared for people who are perhaps recovering from shoulder injuries, shoulder replacement, even um, elbow or wrist injuries that are really leaving you one-handed and trying to get your hair up off your neck. So this technique works really well for a variety of hair types and styles, but as in the case with all of these types of things, they take some practice. So don't get frustrated, give yourself some grace, and see if these will work for you. So let me start by showing you the first technique, which is the easiest in my opinion, um, but also leaves you with kind of a looser ponytail. So let me show you how that would work. First things first, for both of these, I like to hair my hair a little bit wetted down. So I love to use one of these misters. They work really easily, especially if, again, you're one-handed or if you just have some weakness in the hand that you're working with. So I like to wet my hair down a bit. That's just gonna make it easier. And then I'm going to take and really give it a good brushing. Now I have baby fine, very thin, very pin straight hair, which may not mirror what your hair does, but just to be safe, I'm gonna suggest giving it a good brushing so that it's a little bit more manageable. Um, and again, when it's wet, it comes together a little easier. The next thing you're gonna to need to find is a tiny hair tie. Now these are those little tiny elastics that are used for small um, like hairstyles. I used them with my kids for their little tiny hairstyles. And so they look like that. You can get them in a bag for like a dollar. They're very, very low cost. But the key is you need them to have a good amount of elasticity. So they need a decent amount of stretch. But when you're not stretching them, they need to return down to this little bitty size. So you don't want a stretched out one that maybe has been used. You want a fresh one. Then you're gonna put it in your teeth like this. Now, I'm going to get my hair all kind of gathered like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take this rubber band and I'm gonna put it in my fingers like this. So the key is you want it kind of across your first knuckles on all five fingers. So thumb all the way around just like that. And you're creating and you're gonna stretch it to create an opening. Now I'm going to grab that hair I've already kind of gathered in the back pre-ponytail. I'm gonna gather it between my thumb and kind of, I use my middle finger. You can see I'm using my middle finger here. And what you're gonna do is with the middle finger, you're gonna find the edge. This may take a second. I wanna make sure I get all the hair in there. You're gonna use your middle finger to kind of find the edge of the ponytail holder. So just like that, I got my middle finger in there. Then you're gonna pull the ponytail, pull your thumb free, and then you're gonna use your thumb around the hair to pull it through. Now all the hair is inside that little ponytail and I can release and I should have a nice low ponytail, just like that. And this will hold quite well. If you have thicker hair, it may even hold a little better or a little texture to your hair, it might hold even better because it's going to kind of use the, the texture of your hair to hold it in place. But once this is in, I have kept these in all day and they stay put. So this is the first technique, as you can see, really easy, no additional cost really, aside from having to buy some of these little tiny hair ties. So there you go. The next technique is a little bit unique, but works better if you want a slightly higher ponytail or if you have really, really thick hair or lots of it. So what I used was a shoelace kit. Now this is an elastic shoelace kit and it's really important that it comes with this toggle. So you can see the toggle here. So this is a, just a regular cord elastic shoelace kit with a toggle. And what I did was create it this okay so i ran the toggle through one end i created a loop just like that small loop the toggle was run through the rest of it and knotted off to create another loop but this is an adjustable loop you can see i can adjust the length of it okay so again just a low cost shoe kit and a loop the next thing you want to do is the same step i did before which is to brush the hair out get it really slicked back this one works exceptionally well on wet hair. I really like, I really prefer this like fresh out of the shower, but I got it wetted down as much as I could here. We're gonna brush it out. All right, you're gonna take this loop, the big loop, and you're gonna put it around like a necklace, bringing the small loop to the front like that. You're gonna take the hair and you're gonna bring it over. So now the big loop is underneath my hair. You can see, like that, okay? Now, you're gonna wanna be in a space that either already has 
a high hook like this one. My bathroom has, both my bathrooms have these where you hang your towels. So a towel hook or you can add a command hook as long as it's really well secured to the wall. But you want it above your head height. So I have these in both my bathrooms so I'm going to use this. And you're going to take the small loop and you're going to hook it up over the top of this hook, okay? Just like that. Now, I like to kind of bunch the hair and kind of raise it up a little bit. And I'm gonna, you're gonna see as I do this, I'm gonna walk backwards just a step or two to kind of allow the loop to, oh, I gotta go over my ears first. You gotta go over your ears, because they'll get in the way. Now I can take my hair and kind of lift it a little bit, slowly allowing the elastic to pull my hair up off my neck. And then I'm gonna stop kind of let the hair down and I'm going to grab the toggle. At this point I'm going to gently pull back, walking backwards, leaning backwards, and we're just going to keep going until the toggle is tight around the hair. Just like that. And I can unhook this and just like that I have my hair up in a higher ponytail. You can take then this remaining tail that I have here and wrap it around the base of the hair of the ponytail, just like this. And it takes a second, but once you get it around a few times, you can actually use this to kind of tighten the hair into place. And again, this will last most of the day. Keep it up off your neck if it's hot, or if you're doing projects, or if you want to go to the gym, or if you just like your hair up but your arm is in a sling or you're recovering from an injury, you can now enjoy that comfort. So there you have it, hair up in a ponytail, one-handed, two techniques. I hope you got some value out of this video. I'd love to hear your question and comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you thought it was great. And as always, if you need more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.